Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Spyro the Dragon. So last time I finished off the original game, sort of, I got to the, I, I beat Nasty Nork, got the credits, that sort of thing. What you're supposed to do is get, go back and get all the treasure in order to unlock the final area. Uh, I need, the only thing I haven't done is get all the flight levels 100%, and I hate those. So I'm gonna work on that off camera, I'm not gonna show that, um, but once I do manage to get it all done, I will make a video showing what happens when you do that. Um, but I'm not gonna do that right now, I'm just gonna move on to the second game, Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Or, depending on which region you come from, this game is also called Spyro 2 Gateway to Glimmer. Uh, I think... I think it was called Gateway to Glimmer here in, in Australia, but it's now called Ripto's Rage. I, I, I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm not as familiar with this game as the first one. I know that Spyro can swim in this one, which is a huge improvement. Um, beyond that, I don't really remember what happens. So, let's see how we go. <laughs> uh, again, I only had the first game as a child. We had a disc of the second game, it was a burnt disc, and we didn't have a modded PS1, so we couldn't actually play it. Um, so I guess we'll see how this game goes. I'm completely unfamiliar with it. Uh... It's, some, it's a game where we're in the world of dragons, so I guess that makes sense. I don't know if this is how the intro goes in the real Spyro 2, because I'm just not that familiar with it. Is this rain ever gonna stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. Oh. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm. Somewhere sunny. Yeah, that sounds good. Dragon Shores, yeah. I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? Cute. For a vacation at the beach? Heck yeah. Last one there's a Nork! Uh, I get it. It's kind of racist, actually. Fire, please. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we went through a little portal. Is it working, Professor? Almost. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and. Maybe this isn't such a good Yeah, there's more characters in this game. Dragon here could just make Ripto more angry. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's book. They have claws like this, and teeth like this, and they can spit fire like this. They sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto. God, Alora's cute. It's working. It's working! I've got a dragon! Huh? So yeah, they've summoned Spyro from Whoa. another yeah. universe or whatever. Hi. Which way's the beach? Hmm. I think they speak hey, the same language there? for some reason. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussy cat? Oh snap! <laughs> Okay, so that's Ripto. Well, forgot to invite me to the party. Or it's Maleficent, I don't know. <laughs> from me. A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons. Yeah! I... Crush well, that was easy. Killing. Ripto seems Vulnerable. <laughs> Yo, you imbecile! You hate my scepter! I'll deal with you later! Bye, Ripto. What was that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, all right. take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! <sighs> Alright. get ourselves into these messes, pal? I mean, you got summoned into their universe. A bit like in Rainbow Rocks. <laughs> wow, that loaded much faster. I don't know if they've, like, improved it over the first game, or if it's just because it loaded during the cutscene, or what. Okay, so... You can see, so far, it's very similar. Unfortunately for us, a mob of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems! Can you stop them? Probably, yeah. 
So yeah, we've got charging, we've got flaming. Uh, we should have an extra... Yeah, we do. We have a flutter move now, which is kind of neat. Uh, after you glide, you can press X and it'll give you a little extra boost of height. Uh, you can see the overworlds and the music is fairly similar to the first game at this point. Uh... And also, enemies don't have gems in them anymore. Uh, you can see I got like an orb or something out of one, like a pearl, uh, instead of getting regular gems. So I guess these enemies are not made of gems like they were in the first game. Uh, Spark still eats butterflies to heal up, just like the first game. Yep, lots of gems to grab. <laughs> I believe in this game you actually have to spend gems. Uh, there's like a bottles, uh, trouser sort of character in this game that you spend m your gems on to get new moves and things like that. Very Banjo-Kazooie, which is why I reference Banjo-Kazooie twice while explaining it. <laughs> well, I mean, I reference ukulele, but, you know, close enough. Uh, okay. So yeah, gems all over the place, lots and lots of gems. These enemies are cowering because it's the first world and they want to keep things easy, just like in the original game. Yeah, it's probably very similar to the first game so far. Uh, the map was on by default, which is interesting. I think that might be because I had it switched on when I was playing the first game and it just kept it on. Hi, Spyro. I'm a friend Hi Zoe. Of Laura's, and she asked me to help you out. Whenever you find me, I'll remember your progress. Like this. That's okay, so that's a save point. If you get into trouble, I'll return you to this place. See you around. Yeah, so the fairies are save points now, uh, rather than using dragons, because there aren't any dragons in, in this kingdom besides Spyro, so we won't be rescuing crystallized dragons anymore. We gem cutters are a bit too short to climb these ladders, and it looks like you are too. After you learn to climb, come back to Glimmer to see me. So yeah, you do learn new moves in this game. We can't climb these ladders yet, but we will be able to later, and then we can go up there. And you can see there's some stuff up there that we might want to get access to, so yeah, we will have to get up there later. I'm not sure how long I'm going to play for, because I'm not really familiar with the structure of this game compared to the first one, so I don't really know what a good stopping point is. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. Play for probably like a half hour or so. Uh, there's a big gem here, but you can't get it, it's not a real gem. Get everything down here, there we go. Okay, so this is, uh, ah, this is Bottles, his name is Moneybags. Well, He's more like Trouser, really, because he wants money. A small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you a hundred of your gems to cross. Capitalism. So you have to do this. Uh, Spyro, was it? You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. I hope we meet again, when you have even more gems. So yeah, I think that's the only one that's like a bridge. I think every other time you get a move, but I could be wrong. There might be some more that you just have to open a path or whatever. We'll see how we go. Anyway, yeah, I just spent a bunch of gems. If you look at the menu here, you can see I have 188, but I only have 88 left because I spent a bunch of them. To get a good look around, press the action button. Try using action to look around this cave. That's that's the X button. So we, so it's called X. So this is the same as the first game. You press that button and you go into this sort of pseudo first person mode, kind of like in Mario Sunshine. I think they call it Mario Cam in that game. So I guess in this game it's Spyro Cam. Uh, I'm not sure I can reach that yet. Let me see. 
probably not, but let's see what to try. Yeah, not quite. Actually, here's this is the hub. Okay. Spyro, thanks for helping us fight off the lizards. Please take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. Okay. This magic portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar. Okay, I'll get to that in a bit. Gotta make sure I get all the loot first. Cause yeah, there's lots. <laughs> we won't be able to get all of it yet because we don't have the moves we need, but we'll do what we can. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a side questy thing here. We want to use that super fly power up to light, to fly up and flame all the little lamps, basically. Kind of like the flying mini games in the first game, but I think it's less annoying. Hopefully, because that one was really annoying. <laughs> uh, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, I just want to go around here and grab everything that's lying on the ground. As usual, there's just a bunch of gems everywhere. Uh, here there's a little whirlwind. Remember those from the first game? Use them to gain some height, like so. Uh, okay, I think we want to go over to the super fly power up. And light the gem lamps, like that guy said. So yeah, super fly, it works roughly like the flying minigame. Uh, so, until that bar runs out, you can fly pretty much wherever you want. Doesn't last very long, of course. If you charge like I just did, you land temporarily, which isn't very helpful. I think I can just refresh this and try again. Yeah. Okay, so they're staying lit, which is helpful. Um, I think in some of them you have to do it all in one go, but this one you don't have to, which is helpful. There we go. And that'll light the big one. I don't remember what lighting the big one does, because I haven't played this game in a long time. Gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. Okay, so orbs. These are the moons of this game. Uh, you have to collect a bunch of orbs in every level. And the fairy will show up and save when you get one. And yeah, they, they work like moons or stars or uh, jikis or pages or. You know, it, it's, it's the primary collectible of the game. These orbs. Which have an unspecified meaning. <laughs> uh, let's go up here using our super fly power up. So yeah, super fly gives you um, arbitrary flight powers temporarily, which are controlled just like the flying minigame. Uh, it's less annoying because stuff that you've done stays done, and you can try it again. Uh, so it's a bit better. Um, which is good. I like things to be a bit better. Uh, we'll go into Summer Forest shortly. I just want to make sure I haven't missed anything. These little lizards have eaten my entire crop of gems. I've tried hitting them with rocks, but they're too fast for me. You can try using one of my rocks. If you have any questions, just ask me. Okay, so we can grab the rock like this and then spit it. Nice like that. Shooting. Follow me to the next lizard. So yeah, we have projectile attacks now, which is kind of silly, but okay, I guess. I think I can glide over there because of the, the little flutter move. Uh, let me see. Oh, almost. Yeah, I can definitely make it over there. Let's give it one more shot. I can probably go back and get the super fly and do it that way, but eh. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yep, there we go. Easy peasy. Okay, so we want to go find the rest of the 
the rest of the lizards to spit rocks at. Uh, there's one in this direction, I believe. Twirly, twirly, twirly. You can spit pretty far, Spyro. See if you can spit all the way to the lizard. Well, I can save the lizard. Yeah, very easily. So yeah, we do this, we'll get another orb. Which, again, it's like a moon, or a star, or a jiggy, or whatever the heck. Hit that lizard up high, you'll have to aim. Press the action button to aim, then press the attack button to spit. You can pick up a rock in your mouth by just walking up. Yeah, I knew that. I Oh, right, yeah. To aim a rock. I'm trying to... I'm trying to aim, but you're in the way. There we go. Easy. Because the X button is also the talk to that guy button, as well as the go into first person to aim at stuff button, which is not ideal. <laughs> uh, where is the lizard you want me to spit at? Oh, up there. I think these rocks are explosive for some reason. It's very helpful. <laughs> so yeah, there's a bit more of a focus on doing little side quests and things in this game. Uh, the first game didn't really focus on that so much, it was a little more exploration oriented. For the most part anyway. Um, Five out of six, nearly done. I think most things require you to do six things at a time rather than some other number. Which is reasonable, I suppose. <laughs> the game hasn't actually told me about the flutter move yet, but I already knew about it from having played the game a tiny bit before, fortunately. <laughs> okay, shush, I'm trying to... Get out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Hey, you've saved my crop of gems from the lizards. Here, take this orb. Some girl with wings dropped it here yesterday. Was it a fairy? Probably. <laughs> okay, I have two orbs now, which is cool. Uh, if you hit the button here, you can see there's three orbs to get in this area. So we're making good progress. Uh, I think I'm gonna go back this way now. I probably can't get any, everything yet because I can't reach the top of that um ladder, but we can. We'll do what we can. Um, so here, there's another area we can go to. Uh, as I believe this this fellow mentioned, this is Summer Forest, which is the first actual like level bit. The way Glimmer is designed, it's fairly similar to being a real level, rather than a hub world of sorts, so... Okay, we still get a bit of slowdown uh, when you're travelling into a level, just like in the first game. Since it's the same engine and roughly the same, like, things are happening, that makes sense, but it is a little annoying. Um, technically I have less than 250 treasure because we had to spend some of it to make that bridge go up, I think. Maybe I have 350, and I spent 100 of it. I'm not sure. I'll have to check. Cutscene. Oh, no. oh, God, Alora's cute. Didn't get a <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> My name is uh, hi, I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. She's a fawn. She's so Athena? cute. Yeah, they gave me a souvenir too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. Well, there are 14 talismans in Avalok, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Yeah, the talismans basically mean the level is completed. Hunter, like the main quest of the level or whatever. Oh, I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro 
Spyro's gonna help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look. There's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. Oh no. You have to go to Avalar's Worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? You could put them in the guidebook. Hey, any orbs? They're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, I already no got a couple of those, so... Give Ripto the old hot foot and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. Yay! Okay, so... This is Summer Forest, which is the actual home world. Glimmer is just the first level, which is why it's kind of weird that the game was called Gateway to Glimmer in some regions. It's, it's a strange choice. Um, we're not done in Glimmer yet, but we need to be able to climb, so... What, now we're here in Summer Forest, we can work on that. You can see Glimmer's there, you can see it's showing the talisman to tell us that we've already got it. We could go back to Glimmer if we wanted, but we're not going to right now. Uh, we're gonna start work on this level. As you can see, we can swim. This water will not hurt us. Uh, we can't dive just yet, but we will be able to shortly. So that's kind of exciting. Uh, also there's sheep. Uh, because of course there are. Over here we've got... I think that's an extra life. Yeah, the extra lives are now really fancy looking butterflies instead of little spyro statues. And there's a surprisingly large number of them just around. <laughs> For some reason. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, here there's about the same amount of treasure. Uh, you can see another 400 treasure here. Yeah, which I think is the same amount we got in the first area. So yeah. Uh... But yeah, this is the actual home world that you start the game in. So, unlike the first game, instead of starting you in the home world, you start in the first level, which is Glimmer. Which is an interesting choice. Spyro, this is the home world called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you visit. I'm not sure if I need to do all of them in order to do that. Um, as you might remember in the first game, you get way more stuff than you actually need to advance if you do everything. So I'm not sure if I'm required to actually go to every level in this game. Um, I guess we'll see. Um, okay, so down here we got some gems and stuff, also some frogs. Hello frog. Frogs contain butterflies because reasons. We can't go underwater yet, so we can't get the gems and stuff that are underwater. There are gems underwater, so we will be getting those once we can swim properly. There we go. There's Hunter. Hi, Hunter. Go out over here, get more gems. And there's some sheeps. Uh, there's a level over there, which is Idle Springs. We won't go there just yet. We'll just keep grabbing some stuff. Uh, here we have a fireproof thing for the first time, so break that with a charge, get our gems out, there we go, easy peasy. Hunter's gonna give us a tutorial when we go up here, I believe. Uh... Hi Spyro, you look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press the jump button and hold it down to get more hang time. So yeah, Hunter's gonna teach us a couple of the jumping moves and things. This first one's pretty easy, you just jump up. Bad. Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press the jump button. We just had a glide. Yeah, we already know most of this from the first game, which didn't have a tutorial like this. Nice job. Now, okay, so hover. That's what that little fluttery move button, is called. It's a hover. Jump again to glide. When you reach the end of your glide, press the action button to hover. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. I, I call it a flutter because that's what it looks like, but it's actually called hovering. There we go. Easy. It's kind of a little double jump almost. Very good. Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start, jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the left stick when you hover. Huh, they actually called the left stick instead of the, you know, movement tool or whatever, like wow, they did with the other ones. <laughs> if I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection. Okay, so we get Norm for doing that tutorial, which is nice, because I don't know. I'm not really sure what orbs do. I just know we need them. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, there's Idle Springs again? Yeah. We won't go in there just yet. We'll just keep grabbing some gems out here in the overworld. Uh, you can see the orb we got is showing up on the map screen. The map screen seems to be a bit more useful in this game than in the first one, since there's various things that get highlighted on the screen. Rather than nothing. Not screen, the mini-map, I guess. Would be a better description. So it's not actually a full screen thing that you have to open up. It's a mini map. Jam, 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 jam. Okay, there's money bags again. I believe he will teach us underwater swimming when we go over there. Uh, hey Zoe, you gonna zap me or what? I assume she already zapped me, I didn't notice. Okay, so let's go talk to Moneybags. Here he is. Hi, Moneybags. Spyro, I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater, but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. Capitalism. 500 gems. I only have 402. Ooh, I have to go to a level to get enough. I'll probably go into Idle Springs. Okay, so here's Idle Springs. You can also go to Colossus, but we'll go here first because I decided to. I think Colossus is, is the mini boss of this world, but I don't really remember. Entering Idle Springs, do a roll and another roll. Breathe some fire from your mouth, cause you're a dragon. Kinda wish this screen had some music, cause it's pretty boring. You can flap your wings though. <laughs> so yeah, each world has little introductory cutscenes and things in this game, unlike the first one. Uh, gross? <laughs> what the hell? That was, that was gross. Um, anyway. So yeah, there's these idols that have gone evil and we have to take them out, basically. Pretty straightforward. I don't know if we can get everything here because there is water and I can see some gems in the water that we won't be able to reach. Spyro! The idols we were carving have come to life! They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food! That's not good. Is your food just marshmallows? Because that's not really decent food. I don't remember if there's something I can do with that or not. Hmm. Don't hit yourself and what are you doing, dude? Stop that. <laughs> okay, so it's a little one, so you charge it. This will be familiar to anyone who's played the first game. Or seen me play the first game. Which I have. <laughs> yeah, you just charge your way through everything. There we go. Why do they take food anyway? Like, do they need to eat it? They're, they're, they're not, like, actually living, or are they? Maybe. Those metal shields are making enemies invulnerable to your flame attack. If you press and hold the charge button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. Yeah, I know, Zoe. I already did that. So yeah, she acts a lot like the crystallized dragons, because she's a save point and also gives you useless advice that you already know. Yeah, I'm not sure what the orbs are for. They're not showing up in this menu, so no idea. Still not enough treasure overall to get to 500, which is a bit disappointing. 
We're gonna be swimming underwater soon, though. Get that extra life, yeah! Yeah, it does make sense for the extra lives to be super butterflies, considering how health works in this game. I think that's an improvement over little Spyro statues, which were kind of weird. They lived inside of, like, clams or whatever. Okay, we have 500 treasure now, so we will be able to go back and buy the new move when we get back out there. Yes, Zoe, I've played a video game before. <laughs> I think that advice would have been more useful in the original version, uh, because the game was designed to run on a PlayStation controller that didn't have analog sticks, so you had to use the shoulder buttons to aim the camera. So explaining that was a bit more useful, but explaining it in this game doesn't make a lot of sense. Um... I'm not sure what these are for. Hmm. I think I can get an orb by doing something back there, but I'm not sure what yet. And I might need a new move as well. Spyro, you're pretty tough. If you I sure am. Permanent job, we've got a place for you here. But for the moment, I want you to have this talisman. Yay! That's what we're here for. Okay, so the level is effectively complete now. You can see it's given us a return home portal. Uh, but there's a bunch of other stuff in this level, so let's keep walking around and doing things. So yeah, these levels, unlike the ones in the first game, they have a defined completion state, which is getting the talisman. Uh, I'm pretty sure you need to get orbs and stuff as well for something, but I forget what. <laughs> and you definitely need gems because you have to buy moves and things, so... Yeah, it's quite a bit different to the original game, where it's just, you can go wherever you want, you advance to the next world when you have a certain amount of any of the collectibles, basically. Well, I mean, the specific collectible, but there's so much, like, so many more of each collectible that you never run out, basically, and you don't have to do all the levels at all. Whereas in this game, I think you do. I think you need all the talismans. But I could be wrong. Uh, I could be completely mistaken. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm gonna use that, uh, hover move a lot. Just to make sure I get across gaps and stuff. Because it's just it's just so much easier than just gliding and hoping you don't bonk yourself on the wall. Oops. I say as I use hover at the wrong time and fall to my death. Or, you know, just fall late right next to die. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, how are we doing, by the way, treasure-wise? About halfway there. Cool. Uh, 47%. Yeah. Apparently there's some gems here that I missed, so falling might have been useful. Hey Zoe! Where is the talisman? I already got it. Then I went this way. Let's look at the other way. Make sure I don't miss anything up there. Okay, so we've got some water here. Water does not hurt you in this game, so I can go in that and have a bit of swim if I want. Uh, I think I do want, because I can see some more loot over there, which I would like. Technically, in the first game, the gems actually belonged to Spyro, or, like, to the dragons, and were stolen by Nasty Nork. In this game, the gems don't belong to Spyro, and yet, like, they belong to the, like, people of Avalar or whatever, and yet Spyro is spending them. Seems a bit questionable. I mean, I guess you're giving them to Moneybags, who is a resident of Avalar, so it's it's going back to someone it sort of belongs to, but he's a capitalist jag, so I don't think he's going to share the gems fairly with anyone else, so... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, we're a little bit past halfway, half, half an hour of recording time, so as soon as I finish Idle Springs, which I won't be able to 100%, uh, because I don't have the moves I need yet, but, uh... As soon as I've done everything I can here, uh, we'll be finishing the video, and next time we'll be moving on to the next levels. Probably coming back here because it does need some more stuff done with moves that I don't have, like being able to swim underwater. Uh, but for the moment, yeah. Should probably get up there, right? 
Maybe. The hover move's a little persnickety. You have to time it carefully. And it doesn't give you much more height than you sort of started with. If that makes sense. Okay, what do we got here? Some sort of power-up. What's this do? Oh, right. Yeah, this, this is a supercharged thing. Instead of using a ramp that you charge down, you just charge through this, and then you stay supercharging. This is a little weird and gross, but okay. Oh, I see that they're doing that to destroy that guy. The hula girl's ring dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. Uh, thanks, Stella. Well, I got an orb. Guess that's good. I'm not sure what, quite what what I just did, but you know, something. Okay, so I'm done down there, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let me see now. How am I doing? There's one more orb to get, but I don't think I can get it without an extra move. I think I need, like, a ground pound move or something to use, um, over there where those things are. I forget exactly what the details are. Um, but I think that's about all I can do without having some extra moves. So I'm gonna exit the level now. Uh, head over here to the return home portal. There we go. Okay. Um, and that's it for this video, I suppose. Oh, alright, there's another cut cutscene. Closing cutscene. Oh, they're friendly. They just want to have a sausage. <laughs> Turning some forest. Okay, so yeah, we have more than enough gems now to actually buy the move we need to prog progress, but we'll be doing that in the next video. Uh, that's it for this video, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and next time we'll be continuing on with this game. Uh, yay! <laughs> um, yeah. Coolio Woolios. Boop, boop, do. Arriving. You can see the idol's showing up there now because we got it. The talisman, which is an idol. You know what I mean. <laughs> Looks like that green circle thing is like where you entered the level or something. Maybe it's where your checkpoint is. I'm not sure. The map's a bit confusing. Anyway, yeah, we're making good progress. Um, there's still a lot more to do in all of these levels, but we'll be able to buy some more moves and keep progressing. So that's cool. Um, that's it for this video.